Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So today I thought I would do a day in the life for you. So it's actually Monday, so I thought perfect time, start of a new week. And Monday seems to be my most hectic day, if you will. Um, so it is currently 9.50. So Darcy and Ollie are at school and I've gone straight into Aldi after I've dropped them off because we literally had no food in the house. So I made a list before I went and I managed to get most things. Um, there was just the odd couple of things that they didn't have the falafel that we um, buy and they didn't have these little apple juice cartons that I buy. But um, it's been a fair few vlogs since I've showed you like our weekly, I say weekly because there are gonna be some things that I need to pop and get maybe in a few days nothing major but i would say what i've got today is the bulk of what we will need um for our weekly food shop this week so i'm gonna get it all put out on the side and then i'll run through everything so you can see what sort of bits and pieces i pick up for our weekly food shop so we are a family of five if you're new to my channel so it's myself my husband and our three children Okay, so I've laid everything out. I just wanted to quickly show you the receipts. So it was £55.11, um, and I'm really quickly just going to show you <laughs> what I got. So, um, yeah, I basically just got it all out of the bag. So to start with, um, I've just picked up some easy on-the-go drinks for Darcy and Ollie. Um, another orange juice. Ollie loves this in the morning. And then he also likes the cookie bite cereals. So much cheaper than, um, the, is it Kellogg's? That one is like £4 and this is like £1 something. Um, I just got another four pints of semi-skim milk and then I picked up a couple more of these I mentioned this in my other vlog we were trialing these instead of the Volvic ones um and both myself and Darcy really like them and then we needed just some squash to go with the water so I got a orange and pineapple and then apple and black carom. I also picked up a salsa to try from there so for when we have our fajita night so I went with the mild salsa they did have hot and they did also have um, like a no spice one. I went with the mild, um, Tom probably would have wanted the um, hot one, so maybe I can grab that next time. But again, this is a lot cheaper than um, the like old El Paso ones and things like that. Um, I managed to get my hands on some sun-dried tomatoes because I actually, uh, let me see if I can see on the receipt. I picked some up in Morrison's last week um, because we make our, when we do our pasta, um, we usually do like a sun-dried tomato sauce. So we pop sun-dried tomatoes in with like almond milk, tomato puree and just blitz it up. Um, and when I got them in Morrison's last week, they were like £2.80. And the jar wasn't even as big as that. Um, let me see if I can see this easily. Because I, I ended up getting a lot today. You'll see in a minute. I'm quite um, surprised it only came to... 55 pounds i feel like i got a lot for my money where is this okay i don't know if i'm being really silly but i've gone through this and I, the only thing i think i can see because it doesn't actually just say sun-dried tomato i've got the tomato puree which is not that as a separate thing um i think it was one pound 19 because it's got um like a paste name which is what it says on the jar so i think they're one pound 19 if that is right they were literally one pound 57 less than what i paid at morrison's for a bigger jar so really happy with those um and then i also picked some of these up on friday and the kids really liked them so they had some more i got them they were actually in our um the vegetarian section in my Aldi. These aren't vegan or anything, but they did have next to them some protein pancakes as well. So if you're like wanting stuff with higher protein, they had that as an option. So I just thought that's quite an easy breakfast. Um, and then Ollie absolutely loves this bread. I was actually sent to my mother-in-law because she was saying to me how much the price of bread is. And this is 72p. The dates are always really long, like they're in date for a long time basically. And it's really soft. Um, so yeah, we, I've been getting a few of these loaves a week. Um, I got Penny some little yogurts. Um, I got one pack of the Mexican style rice because Ollie likes like burrito wraps that we make. So he will have this in his. And then these are for little Miss Penny. She loves them. Um, and then I picked up a pack of naan bread. So we will either have this with a curry or we've been, um, 
like marinating some paneer in like a tikka paste and then doing like a mint and um, yogurt dip with some cucumber and onion on top. That's like a Joe Wicks style recipe that we had years ago with chicken, but we just do it with a meat alternative. I got two packs of couscous. I've been making these for my lunch and adding things like spinach, um, onion, cucumber, pepper, and just having like a nice um, salad. And one pack of these will do me three meals. Um, again, really, really easy. And these are about 45p. Um, I've got a pack of corn because I've really been fancying these lately. Um, some limes, more coffee beans. My favourite, I always mention these, we go with the strength four. I've got a large, well, no, it's not. It's an extra large ripe avocado. Um, a pack of celery. So <laughs> they had the pre-chopped up stuff, so where the ends are cut off, 97p. And this pack was 57p. So I thought for the sake of me just cutting the tops and the bottom off, we'll save ourselves 40p. It's so crazy how they can get you with things like that. Um, just got some bananas. They didn't have any frozen raspberries, so I ended up getting the summer fruit. So it's kind of like just mixed berries. That's for my smoothies. Um, I got another bag of the baby spinach. I love the spinach at the moment. And then um, I'm really feeling like some watercress and rocket in with my couscous as well. So I did pick this up. Um, I got a cucumber. It's my tomato puree, 45p. <laughs> um, broccoli i don't know if i said that i've got two loose red peppers they didn't have usually i'll buy the pack um but they didn't have any other peppers other than loose red ones um so i just got those for now i picked up some more pasta so darcy will always have this penne one and then um ollie likes this one and i managed to get this in whole wheat they didn't have this one in whole wheat um i've got some pesto ollie loves this one the fruit has been attacked by a little baby girl called Penny. So raspberries and strawberries. And I've got the kids some of their pink lady kid apples. So they're just smaller than the regular ones. So it's just easier for the kids to eat. And then I've got a whole selection from the protein range. So I've got two of the chocolate flavor protein puddings. They do these in caramel and vanilla. Chocolate is my favorite. The vanilla is just a little bit too... Um, sweet for my liking i think pen is poked hole in there so i'm gonna have to put some foil on that brilliant um and then i picked this one up to try so this one's a bit smaller i've not tried this one before um so this one's got 25 grams so it's a bit more than these it's odd because it's a smaller pot um and then i've got a couple of these porridge oats so i had one this morning for breakfast it was cinnamon flavor really lovely highly recommend that and then this one is the golden syrup and then I picked up a protein vanilla drink to try. Um, and then just the chocolate goodies. So buttons for Penny. Two orange matchmakers because they were in the clearance for 90p. I've got Darcy a Turkish Delight Bar. She's really been liking that. Um, mine and Tom's favourite biscuits. They've got two of those for our coffees. And then just some chocolate fingers. And then last but not least, I've picked up an Audi book. So I can sit down with my coffee and go through the Audi book which is my most favorite thing to do um so yeah i'm gonna pull this away now because pen is napping so i'm gonna put this away finish the washing up um then i'll probably do my work actually because i had an appointment on the phone um but it's just gone a different way so i now don't have the appointment on the phone so i'm thinking i was kind of put into the back of my mind that i wouldn't do my workout so i'm probably going to get my workout done um and then i do need to pop to b&m but i don't know if i'm going to have a chance to go before the kids are uh, before the kids finish school um and darcy's got ballet i think i don't know if i said this oh, i'm going to put you down in the window so my arms are hurting and if you're wondering why my face is red oh. I was in the front room just sitting down with Penny before nap time. So I'm in the front room with her. And I literally, I don't, I was reading an email. So I mean, when I say 2.5 seconds, that's no exaggeration. And I look down and she's got the pseudocream pot and put her hand in. And she's obviously tried to copy me like when I rub my face creams in. And she's covered head to toe. So she's had to have a bath. Um, <laughs> yeah oh my goodness me so yeah we've had that excitement but yeah darcy's got ballet tonight she doesn't normally do it on monday but she's got her exam coming up so she's got an additional coaching lesson throughout the week so her regular lesson which is usually on a friday is now skipped to a monday so yeah i will have to pick them up and then we can come home for a little bit and then i'll go but i think tom has a job to finish after his day job um 
that spilled over from the weekend so he just wants to get that done um because obviously he's trying to like crack on with things in the loft i will take you in the loft but what i'll do is let me get this put away let me do the washing up then i'll head in the loft then i'll creep in my room and get a t-shirt and then i'll get my workout done because <laughs> otherwise i'm gonna run out of time and it'll be time to put the kids up Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got this list of my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights left a light on god knows how long for um yeah but i just wanted to show you the update so we're still not up here um you probably can't see there's chaos everywhere guys um so this is obviously tom's little work area and um i've got like vintage piles there um but if i just show you over here i've made huge progress with um the shelving cabinet thing cabinet my drawers basically um so as you can see i got a bit excited and started moving picture frames up here so um i've got some handles coming today from amazon so i went with kind of like long bar style ones i'll show you um when they come and i went with like a brushed nickel effect which is kind of like the curtain pole and the like fixture part of our bedside lamps um i don't know if i'm going to open one of these now but <laughs> they're so heavy i need the handle on so yeah he's done all the drawer front this here is like filling that he's done so it needs to be sanded down and then we can start painting it um i think i said before it's going to be white nothing else has happened in the wardrobe so that's just as it was last time and tom's tools are still on my dressing table so been a little bit slow um but it's mainly because tom's back at work now so trying to find like extra time is really really hard but I'm excited for the videos of when we're like organising in the loft and moving up here. But um, yeah, it is crazy. I was sat up here sitting with him and I was like, can you actually remember what it looked like before? Um, crazy. So yeah, every little step is a step closer to being up here. So I think what I'm going to do now is just creep in my bedroom, um, grab a t-shirt out so I can do a quick workout um, while Penny Girl is napping um my face is so red today and puffy i don't know what it is it actually feels really sore so i'm touching this it feels sore today um yeah i actually need a fit ball for today's workout and i don't have one so i'm gonna have to like improvise and i air wrapped my hair last night and then i just put it in a really loose plait, and i've still got my curls which i really like totally change of subject <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have to do it on the floor and just not do it on the ball, obviously. But I've seen in places like Home Bargains and B&M they do them. So maybe when I do pop up there to get my cleaning bits, I can pick one up. Because I did have a quick look on Amazon, but they were quite expensive. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to do that. But 
Oh, it's really hard. I want to go and sit on the sofa. I'm not going to lie. I want to go and sit on the sofa. <laughs> um, but we won't do that. I'll go and do my workout. Then I can sit on the sofa. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm about to do my workout because I'm going to keep procrastinating it won't get done. So I'm starting off with 10 minutes on the stepper. Um, I'll just put my trainers on. So I did get this from Audi. I got it back last year. Um, I'll link it below if it's still in stock. So I, when they do their fitness and things like that, they do repeat things. Um, you can use it for loads of different stuff. So like this disc here spins, so you can do like sit ups. You can use it as an actual step up. Um, yeah, just loads of things. So this is actually, I don't know if you can see, hold on, let me tip the camera a minute. Um, so yeah, if you can see in there, it's got two pedals um, with a count dial. So you literally just step on it and then, because I love the step machine at the gym, um, and that's what I really miss when I don't go to the gym. So what I've started to do is 10 minutes um warm up on here before i actually start my workout program and then i think i mentioned this in my last vlog i'm doing the um sweat program but the post-pregnancy one so even though i'm like 16 months post-pregnancy if you're a new hair had loads of complications afterwards go away cliffy not my face um yeah i've loads of complications after the c-section so i just thought let's play it safe let's do the post-pregnancy and thank you for that and see how we go so i've really been enjoying it so far so um for that all i need today is um just a foam roller which i've got there a resistance band and a mat like i said it does say you need a fitball but i'm gonna have to do the um like pelvic tilts not on a fitball just have to lay on the floor for today so yeah i'm gonna just time lapse you for a little bit get my workout done and then i'll speak to you afterwards and we'll prep some lunch sure if you're bent or not <laughs> i literally have the camera propped up on my dash so hello it is the next day as you can see well no you probably won't even realize i have changed my jumper actually um so i was doing a day in the life obviously like i said in the introduction and then the last clip um that you saw was me working out and then what I did after I worked out is I just tied it around and sorted some washing out, which I didn't film because I'd done that in a cleaning video. So I thought I won't duplicate that sort of footage. And then I just came down with like a really awful migraine that I couldn't get rid of. So, um, sorry, there's a lady walking up. In case you didn't know, I'm, <laughs> I feel so awkward when I'm in public. Um, I'm just going to pretend I'm on my phone because she might not know that's a camera. <laughs> How awkward am I? Um, I'm at ballet. Sorry, she's just walking past. Give me a minute, guys, because I actually feel like a gigantic <laughs> tit. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm normal. I'm totally normal. Um, right, so I'm at ballet. I'm on my own. So Tom managed to finish work early. Darcy has an hour lesson today. So he finished work and he was going to bring her. And I said, actually, I'll go because then I can do some editing. So I've got my laptop here. And then I was like, I didn't finish the vlog. So going back to what I was saying, I had a migraine and I really, really struggled to even go and get the kids from school. And then Darcy had ballet last night as well. And then Tom didn't get home until half past six. So usually what would happen, we, what we try and do is um, I drop her to ballet and then I've got Penny and Ollie and then but if she's got like an hour wait like tonight typically i will go home and then he'll come to get her after he finishes work to save me sitting here for an hour when i've got obviously the other two um and he phoned me so i'm really sorry i'm not going to be able to get her so i was like oh my god so i hadn't packed any supplies for penny or anything so me penny and ollie were just sat in the car for 45 minutes and it was torture because i had no supplies for the kids um so yeah then i just went home and it was like pure survival mode and then i just went to bed early because i just could not shift this migraine i used my forehead rub i took paracetamols and it wouldn't go so i figured i would then just hop back on now um and finish this day in the life so it's like a two day but i didn't record this morning because i've pretty much done like a similar thing to what you've just watched so 
Hello, I'm at ballet. So this would have been the same as yesterday. So um, I'm just going to sit here and work for a little bit. Um, nothing obviously exciting, but I'm just using this time because I'm never, I never normally get like a solid hour where I'm on my own where I can just be productive. So I'm trying to get some work done. Um, and then I'm going to go home. Tom actually has to pop out when I go home because he's got some jobs that he needs to go and price up. Um, so I'll show you what we're doing for tea. Ollie's actually gone to Ninja Warrior. It's like a new... Oh, what do you call it? It's like, I think it's more like adventurous than air hop. Like a bit like an air hop, but a bit more intense. So he's gone there with his little friend from football. Um, so Darcy was really upset because she was feeling really left out. So I've promised her that she can go with her friend um, on the weekend or just one evening. So I'll let you know what I'm cooking for tea. I have no idea what I'm cooking for myself. Um, it will obviously have to be a quick tea because Tom's not going to be in. Um, and yeah, I haven't yet done a workout today um, because what have I been doing today? Oh, I did. I went to B&M this morning because I was completely out of washing supplies. So I had, um, I had to go and get Max, our bunny, some food. Um, then I cleaned him out. So I stood in the garden. It's so cold um, at the moment that our garden that's just oh, i'm looking out around and everything's starting to freeze up again out, out there so i'll have to turn the car on in a minute but i've got my big thick coat on and i made a coffee um and yeah then it'll be bedtime so i'll just finish my day in the life this evening and then um but yeah sorry it was split up i just don't know where that migraine i've not had a migraine attack for so long um yeah and i could have really done with tom not working late but it is what it is always the way and it always happens when you're struggling but um we made it we're here the next day um, but yeah i'm just gonna go and do a little bit more work and enjoy my coffee while i've got peace the sound of this it's just so good so good Okay, so I've now got Darcy. How was your lesson, babe? Good. Um, yeah, I was actually, after I turned the camera off, I was actually trying to figure out with Tom what we're gonna have for tea. What do you feel like tonight? Pasta. Pasta. <laughs> um, so I'll show you what Darcy has, and then once I get mine and Tom sorted, I think he's gonna be making us a curry. Um, he may have already started it. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but we're gonna head home now. So it is, five o'clock so her lesson on a Tuesday is four until five so yeah we're just gonna head home now and then I'll catch up with you with the rest of our evening hello hello did you miss mummy come back where's your baby okay oh that is such a nice baby are you giving her a cuddle oh you're so good with your baby oh that's lovely what lovely cuddles um yeah we've got the log burner on and tom's just had <laughs> jj let's lower this down it's like the soundtrack to any video now every bit of footage that i've edited all you can hear is kokoman in the background <sighs> and she's after a dummy did you have fun with daddy <laughs> Um, yeah, so Tom's just brought some wood in um, and that yellow bag there is heat log. So we'll just move that to the tour room in a second. Chaos of my hallway. And then, Alexa, stop. Um, yeah, like I, I thought Tom would do us curry. So he's um, prepped um, this. So usually we have chickpeas, which I can see carrots, onion, spinach i did buy some celery i'm not sure if he's put any in there or not because he's not a fan of celery but i love celery and then we do have some potatoes in there but weird thing i never like to have curry uh, potatoes in my curry so i will just have this um with some rice so hello clifford are you okay have you had your tea is that why you're right there yeah, so I'm going to do Darcy her pasta in a second. I'm not sure if she's going to have a shower or 
Um, whether she's running a bath, I don't quite know, but oh, no, someone's excited to see me. The dog's running around like a lunatic. Um, yeah, so it is currently 28 minutes past five that's the other way around but yeah it's basically half past five um i'm gonna go around now and turn all the lights off in my house because i think tom forgets how much all the electricity is okay so i've just done penny's tea so all i've done is i've like scrambled up two eggs with some cheese and kind of made it into an omelette but then popped like a wrap over it so it's like a i don't know what you call it, like a burrito i saw it on an instagram page so i'll um try and link the link below for you to follow that recipe but i'm gonna see how we go with this because she's preferring like finger foods to hold herself so i'm gonna try with this it's cooled down now and see how we get on is that nice clever girl clever girl can you have some more food put it on there go put it on your tray good girl no not on the side Keep it on there, that's it. How's this gonna go? Can you eat it in your mouth? Okay, so I've just made Penny her milk bottle. So it is uh, quarter to seven. Um, she's not have, having a bath tonight because she had one this morning. Um, so she's just gonna have her milk. She has eight ounces um, of a morning and um, just before bed. And she's still actually on her Kendall meal milk. Um, just the three, the like, over 12 months one so i'm just actually getting darcy's tea ready we're a bit later today um so she's just having some garlic bread um with this pasta that she's obsessed with or that she's dropped over my floor um so it's just like some penne pasta and she has this sauce from aldi and then you pop loads of cheese on it, it don't you it has to be peeny peeny pasta um, and you've had a bath and everything haven't you done your skincare and she can't wait for her garlic bread, so she's just eating her food. <laughs> you impatient girl, you. Um, so yeah, I'm Tom. Like I said, Tom has gone out to um, price up that job, so he's probably not going to be back until gone seven. So our tea is ready to go. We just need to actually boil the rice. Ollie's back now. He's just having a bath. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna. Oh dear, I'm just gonna chill out with the kids before everyone goes to bed. <laughs> Good girl. I'm gonna go get our pajamas on. I'm coming. No, Ollie. I don't want her to run, babe, because we haven't got the banister or anything on. Come on in Mummy's room. Or Penny's room, should I say? Okay, we're gonna get you undressed. Get makeup. Come and see me. <laughs> <laughs> you cheeky, you is. <laughs> say hiya. Chill night before bed. You're Clifford. Should I pick your towel up, bud? Did you put everything else in the wash? Yeah. Yeah. Good boy. Oh, your jacket, babe. Whoa, what are you doing? I'm I know, but we need to make sure. Our bedroom's not completely trashed. Are those Jaffa cake boxes empty? Yeah. If you pass them to, I'll put them in recycling. Mm. Wow. I didn't eat any of them. Where'd they all go? I gave them to my friends. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
and that is a job for tomorrow. It gets emptied and then filled again. Okay, so I'm just putting a whitewash ready um, to kind of like be done for when I get back from the school run and I can hang it straight back out. I didn't actually do a wash load today, so um, yeah, I didn't do a wash load today, so all of this can be now folded. So I'm going to do that and then I'm hoping Tom will be home soon because I'm hungry. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, I know I did you wrong, but I learned my lesson. Now, what if we could move on? Remember the good days. I wish that we could go. I'm sorry.